the holidays can be really stressful for a lot of people. So I hope it brings a smile to your face to learn that Kevin McCarthy's Christmas is gonna so. So the dust has basically settled on the 2022 midterms and the red wave that was prophesied by so many commentators and feared by so many cynics such as myself never manifested. What we had was more of a red spritz. And uh, the result was, to I guess the GOP's credit, despite their colossal underperformance, uh, is that the Republican Party is going to take the House majority uh, on in January 2023. And... In theory, that's good news for the current Republican minority leader in the House, Kevin McCarthy, um, Republican minority leader, resident douchebag. Um, but in reality, the uh, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And actually, that, that adage may not even apply because the crown is not on McCarthy's head yet. What do I mean? Well, this is what I mean. So old Kev has a bit of a math problem in terms of votes. So, in theory, um, Kevin McCarthy will need at least 218 votes to become the Speaker of the House because that is the smallest, that is the majority vote, right? Um, 218 votes. That is the number of votes that the GOP needed to take back the House majority, and it will be the same number that Kevin needs to become Speaker, which he, of course, wants to be. Uh, the problem is that he is facing stiff resistance within his own party, and he's going to get the cold shoulder from Democrats. There's no Democrat that will vote for Kevin McCarthy to be Speaker. So he has to get all of his votes from the Republican majority. And he has two problems. Number one, the Republican majority is going to be razor thin. It's going to be anywhere from probably six to ten votes, which is virtually no margin for error. And the second problem that McCarthy has is that uh, he is a very controversial figure among his own caucus. There are many Republicans who don't like him, right? Particularly what they call the Freedom Caucus, which is like the, the more MAGA element of the GOP. People like Matt Gates and Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene and James Comer and Andy Biggs, et cetera, and so forth. Um, and the reason they don't like McCarthy, I mean, many reasons. Number one, his face. He, he exudes unlikability. Um, it's probably the single biggest reason. But more substantive reasons include, you know, a perceived disloyalty to President Trump, who is still the leader of the Republican Party, even though recent developments have suggested that his, his iron-fisted grip may be loosening. Uh, Donald Trump is still the leader of the GOP, not Mitch McConnell, not Ron DeSantis, and certainly not Kevin McCarthy. And loyalty to Trump is still the reserve currency of the GOP, so to speak, right? It's still the, the primary means by which uh, it energizes the base. It still means a great deal. And most sitting Republicans go out of their way to curry Trump's favor. And when you don't curry Trump's favor, like Congresswoman Liz Cheney or Congressman Adam Kinzinger, your persona non grata and your political career with the GOP is, is seriously jeopardized. So McCarthy's tried to walk this weird tightrope um, that a lot of, you know, Republicans do where they're clearly, you know, disgusted with the extremism of the Freedom Caucus and Cult 45, as I call it, but they're also too cowardly and too cynical to disavow it because they know they need the Freedom Caucus, and, and that's Kevin McCarthy in a nutshell. So McCarthy has no margin for error. He has a razor-thin majority, and he has plenty of people who dislike him. Now, the good news for McCarthy is when they did the uh, a straw poll or a, a, a private vote, a preliminary vote, uh, he won the majority. Um, but he needs, like, I think 30 votes. Like, even then, like, he, 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 Andy Biggs, I think, was, was another Republican who ran against him, who said he wasn't going to vote for McCarthy, and he was actually going to oppose McCarthy and, and throw his own name in the ring to become Speaker in January. And Biggs got, like, 30 votes, right? And McCarthy got, like, about 200 or something like that, or close to 200. That's not enough in terms of, like, a, a strict majority. So McCarthy knows he's basically got to get 30 votes come January to become Speaker. And right now, uh, it's wheeling and dealing time, with the Freedom Caucus in particular. So as this Axios article says, McCarthy's at risk of a, hum of a humiliating and potentially career-ending defeat with just five weeks until the January 6th, or excuse me, January 3rd, that was a Freudian slip, Speaker election. 
as several of the right-wing House Freedom Caucus are still publicly vowing to deny him crucial votes. Bob Good of Virginia said uh, he's a firm no on McCarthy after previously leaving wiggle room. I will be voting for an alternative candidate. I will not be voting for Kevin McCarthy. He will vote for Andy Biggs, the guy I mentioned earlier. Uh, McCarthy will need a a majority of voting members to elect him speaker. Now, this is really important. Um, So if everybody votes, if everybody in the House of Representatives votes, he'll need at least 218 because, again, that is the simple majority in the House. But technically he needs a majority of people who vote for a candidate. So like on January 3rd, when they go to have a House vote for Speaker, people can abstain from voting or they can just say present. You know, they can they can vote. They can not vote. They can choose to not vote for a named nominee, in which case of the number of House uh of number of representatives who do vote for a named nominee. So McCarthy. Uh, Hakeem Jeffries, who's the the current Democratic minority leader, he'll be replacing Nancy Pelosi as the leader of the Democratic Party in the House of Representatives. So if people vote for McCarthy or Biggs or Jeffries or AOC or whoever, whoever, whatever the number is of uh, representatives who give a name when they go to vote, whoever will become speaker just needs a majority, a clear majority. It's very rare. I think it's only happened like three or four times where uh, a vote did not result in a majority. And so they had to vote again and again and again until they got a majority. Right. So it's very rare. But so he'll either need 218 if everybody votes for a named person or at least a simple majority of people who vote uh, on January 3rd. But as the article notes, the House Republican majority of just five or six seats, he will only be able to afford a handful of defections. So Matt Gates is another prominent House Caucus, uh, House Freedom Caucus member, big Trumpster, loyal acolyte of Donald Trump, who says he just won't vote for um, for Kevin McCarthy. Now, the, the surprise here is that McCarthy was able to win the support of Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is also a prominent Freedom Caucus member, a close ally of Matt Gates, um, and he was able to do that, according to reporting, because he's promised Marjorie Taylor Greene a position on committees. Right now, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene has no position in House committees because she was taken off them after her anti-Semitic comments. Uh, She was removed from her committees by Speaker Pelosi and the Democrats. So McCarthy has promised her to not only put her back on committees, but on committees of her choice, including the House Oversight Committee, which means that Marjorie Taylor Greene, if McCarthy becomes Speaker, uh, will be put on the House Oversight Committee being able to run investigations into and issue subpoenas to members of the executive branch. Marjorie Taylor Greene doesn't have the temperament or the intellect to be in Congress, period, but she certainly, um, if she's going to be on any committee, oversight um, is not it. She she is the least qualified for oversight. Um That may not be the extent of McCarthy's troubles. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, one of his key allies in the Freedom Caucus, estimated that privately there could be as many as 10 no votes. Good, who we mentioned earlier, said 20 is in the ballpark. Now, again, so McCarthy is going to be spending the next five weeks stressing, wheeling, dealing, negotiating, probably, if he's even capable of such a thing, trying to browbeat or bully his way into a majority. But he's not very intimidating, so I doubt that'll be effective. And he's got to do all this in five weeks. Um, He ran for speaker in 2015. I think it was John Boehner was the the House speaker. And I think it was either it was either shortly after Democrats got the majority or maybe it was that was when Paul Ryan became speaker instead. But anyway, Kevin McCarthy's run for speaker before and he's lost. So this would be another humiliating defeat, which would be just phenomenal. It'd be it'd be great. Um, But um, as McCarthy pointed out, uh, because I think it was Fox News or OAN or Newsmax, he, he did an interview recently, and he said, um, you know, this could um, this could uh, jeopardize Republican majority, right? If Republican infighting uh, continues in this way and manifests after January 3rd, it could basically give Democrats an opportunity to work with moderate Republicans and, you know, name their own speaker. It's possible, and that'd be great. Um, But yeah, uh, 
it's definitely bad news for Kevin McCarthy, which is, I think, good news for America. Um, and hopefully the stress continues on into the new year. So given all the other you know, pressures and stresses of life in America today, I hope that brings a smile to your face to know that there won't be a smile on Kevin McCarthy's face, at least for the next five weeks. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, and I hope that you did, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe. Also, my link tree is in the description below, so if you have a sec, go ahead and share the love on all my social media accounts. Also, if you want to express an opinion, eternal devotion, or undying contempt, go ahead and leave a comment because we're always looking for feedback. And on that note, I look forward to pondering politics and pop culture again with you very soon.